What's going on guys? This is Danny Summers with Intercept MMA. Thank you guys for tuning in. If you guys can, please hit like and subscribe. Also hit the notification bell. That way anytime we're putting out new videos, new content, new fight breakdowns, you guys can see it first. Guys, Coach Danny, I'm here with Coach Anna. We're gonna be focusing on escaping like a crucifix position, almost like a T Kimura position, um, and just kind of giving you guys a couple different ways of escaping. Obviously, there's a lot of different ways. I've seen people kind of bring their head to the mat and like backflip over people before, but not a lot of people can do that, so no reason to teach them that. Also, my neck hurts. So Anna's gonna start in that crucifix position. And when we first start in this crucifix position, she's gonna have my arm controlled, one arm controlled, with her legs, and she's just gonna figure four like she normally would a triangle. And in her other hand, she's just collecting the meat of the hand. Now, when she's collecting the meat of the hand, just like she would from the back. From here, the left hand is the one that's more mobile, meaning she can start doing different things with it to start to attack for chokes. If we're in this position and I feel someone looking to attack on this choke, what I'm gonna look to time to get my chin down is as she starts to sneak it across, there's a moment in time where there's a gap right here on her elbow. I'm gonna try to turn my head in and bring it to my shoulder just to make it hard for Anna to get underneath my chin. And again, this isn't to say like, I'm gonna be able to avoid the choke. This is just buying me time. If you got here, it's your fault, okay? <laughs> So now if I'm in this position and I want to start escaping, if I start to do this or I'm starting to kind of buy myself time, my right hand that's kind of caught here, I'm going to go palm down, okay? So palm down. I know it looks funny, but palm down. From here, I'm going to bring my arm forward and then look to get my elbow inside. And I just want to try to maintain my elbow nice and tight to my body, just temporarily so she can't get back underneath. Now from here, for me to escape, I want to get my head to the mat. And if she's doing a good job of keeping her head under my head, it's very hard for me to do that. So once I escape this, my right hand, I'm actually gonna push her head up. And as I push her head up, I bring my head to the mat. Once I do that, I'm gonna start to line myself up with her. And then my left hand, I can start to pull down on her leg because I know she's gonna start to transition and this is gonna start to come up. So now I can use same thing, momentum, to pull the leg across and put myself in a position to pass from there. So again, if she has me in that position, first one, when we're here, she has her head underneath my head and we're in this position. Now, once we're here, if she tries starting with that choke, I'm gonna try to time it so I can put my chin down, buy myself more time. I'm gonna go palm down, extend, and look to get my elbow inside. From here, I know where her head is because I can feel it underneath mine. So I bring my palm to her forehead, I push up, and I'm looking to rotate on top from there. So that's the first one, if they just have the meat in the hand. Now, if we're in a more of like a T Kimura position, meaning when she has my back, or she has my, my back here almost, and she switches her grip to this. Obviously, I can't do the same thing. No matter how many times I, hey, and I try to get my hand out, I can't. So now what I'm looking to do is use my left knee, and I'm gonna try to bring it, almost like I'm trying to touch it to my left bicep. So what I'm gonna start to do is, I'm gonna start to sh like shoot my hips out using my right foot, and from there, I'm gonna bring my left knee to my left bicep. Now using this, I'm gonna to start to rotate, almost like I'm trying to face my palm up to the uh, ceiling like I'm holding a platter, and then extract my arm. Once I extract my arm, I'm gonna walk my feet towards her head. As I walk my feet towards her head, I'm just making sure I'm keeping this leg out of the equation. And now once my elbow touches the mat, I can build the base, come up, and put her in my own Kimura from there. So again, if she has my back in this crucifix position, but it's more of like a T Kimura now because of the grip change. Again, from here, I wanna to try to get my knee in. If I'm not that flexible though, I gotta create a little bit of space. So using my right foot, I hip out, I bring my knee to my bicep. I'm gonna rotate and peel it out. Now, if I need to, I can check this leg just to make sure it doesn't become another issue. Walk myself until my elbow can touch. Once my elbow can touch, I'm gonna try to come up before she does. If my elbow stays on her, sometimes it's hard to come up. Because if I try to come up, she can push my hand down and make it hard for me to come up. But if I can go back down, if I can get my elbow to the mat, even when she tries to stop me here, there's nothing stopping me because of the fact that my elbow has a connection to the ground. 
So when we're doing this, we just want to make sure that we can feel that connection of the elbow. Once we free the arm between the legs and we start to kind of walk ourselves, getting that elbow to the mat so we can actually build a base to build ourselves up, come up on top, and hopefully get to our own Kimura from there. Give it a try. <laughs> 